before you get into this video, I want to do something fun. I have Fenty and Kiko on right now. Which side do you think is which? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's get our fingers in and... Oh. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I'm doing something very exciting. I'm going to be playing around with the glitter which is one of my favourite pastimes <laughs> and I'm doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to be comparing two products, one that is high end and then the other which is very affordable. So today I'm going to be comparing the much loved and much hyped Fenty Diamond Balm in how many carats. This is a balmy kind of product but also kind of powder. It's a very unique product but it's basically just a glitter that has absolutely no colour base which is what I find so unique about it. It's actually one of my favourite things. I've had this for a few months. I bought it when I went to Paris in November. So I've had it for literally like a month. What are you talking about, Curiel? You haven't had it for a few months. Oh my god. I use this a lot around Christmas time. One thing about glitter is, don't get me wrong, I love glitter. But if you want a nice loose glitter, it is so awkward to apply. This was so quick and easy. As you can kind of tell, it's well used with all the dents in it. And <laughs> also the makeup smudges. Because this picks up colour. If you have colour on your finger like makeup, if you're double dipping wouldn't recommend anyway this is so easy to apply because you can literally put your finger put your brush in and just dab it on you don't have to worry about fallout or anything pretty much around the Christmas period I would literally just do what I've done today which is just blow up bronzer all over the lid and then I take this and just pop it all over my mobile lid it just looks so pretty it caught the light really well it's just so user-friendly but it is also 30 pounds <laughs> So this is up there in price. It is gorgeous. I love the packaging. I was like a magpie in Paris when I saw this and I was like, I need you. You are coming home with me. Thank you. So yeah, my only quarrel with this is that it is £30. However, I was in Cardiff the other day, just, you know, minding my own business. I went into the Kiko store and I kind of went zoom right to this product. It's in this little gold box by here. So clearly it's a lot different in packaging. But this is the Kiko Sparkling Holiday All Over Dazzling Powder. They had this open in the store with a tester and I came out full of glitter. <laughs> When I swatched this, however, it looked very similar to the Fenty one. I'm not saying I found a dupe, but I might have found a dupe. And I just looked online, this is actually on offer, and this is £5.90. £5.90. Literally like a sixth of the price. I don't know math, I don't know if that's right, but six times five is 30. That I, am I right? I don't know. Let's just get back to makeup and not math. <laughs> anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. Let's get our fingers in and, oh, I'm not saying that again. Let's get into the glitter. I'm very excited. First of all, I'm gonna swatch the Fenty one. So I'm just gonna put it on my hand. When you feel this in texture, it's kind of squidgy, but also very smooth, which is weird for something that's glittery. I think it would be gritty, but it's really not. It's very smooth. It's got like no base color at all. That is all glitter. It's very reflective. It's very silver. Now let's get onto the Kiko one. This is what the actual packaging looks like. So it's in a little jar and that's what the product looks like. It's like a white shimmery powder in there. Looks promising. I'm honestly hoping these two look similar because if they don't, I'm gonna be stupid. Well, this won't be uploaded, but still. <laughs> the powder kind of went everywhere when I was in store. That's the only thing with this packaging isn't the best. Okay, so it looks a very similar in colour. I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you <laughs> without spilling it. So there's Fenty and there's Kiko. The Kiko one looks a tiny tiny little bit warmer like it looks like it's got a little bit more yellow in there and obviously this is a powder formula not a kind of balm but I just thought they had the same effect if you want the Fenty effect but don't want to spend 30 pounds maybe this is a good option I don't know let's see shall we there's actually some of the powder on the actual lid so I'm just gonna go in there and sort of stick my finger in there and possibly it going everywhere oh gosh a lot came off it has almost like a wet texture to it but as you can see this one has a lot more base color let's see them next to each other Ooh, wow oh my gosh <gasps> this almost has a similar texture when you blend it out you get a lot of product though like I'm doing two swatches now <laughs> a tiny bit of that goes a really 
really long way. But can you see what I mean? They're very similar. The base almost disappears on the Kiko one as well. You're just kind of left with the sheen. And even though I said the Kiko one looked like it had a warm-up base, it's actually looking like it's got more silver reflex in it. I'm in my happy place right now. I love glitter so much. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to put both of these on my face. And we are going to see what both look like, if they look any different, whether they perform any differently. I'm also going to try them both with brushes. I haven't tried the Fenty one with a brush yet. I've only used my fingers. Let's zoom you guys in. Hello. So I've got really basic makeup on today. I do have a little bit of highlight. I literally just put it on with like a blush brush. <laughs> but it's very basic. I'm just going to use the Fenty the way that I traditionally would. Taking a clean finger, I'm just going to go in just a little bit into the product. And I'm just going to tap this on the lid. You do kind of have to push and drag if you want it on the lid because it tends to stick to the finger. It looks super pretty and it just reflects the light really nicely. And you have glitter on your lids without it being obnoxious. You know what I mean? I'm gonna add just a little bit more just for the sake of it. The thing that I do like about this is it's not gritty at all so you can use it on the eyelid and it doesn't get irritated or anything. Now what I want to try and do is use a tiny little detail brush and do my inner corner. I haven't actually done this with the Fenty yet so kind of intrigued to see how it's going to pick up on here. Let's have a quick look. It is getting on there actually and again it's like a cream product in here it's so weird and I am just going to pop this on my inner corner. It is in there but it's very 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 subtle. I guess a good thing about this product is you can't pick up too much it just doesn't allow you to but also in my case I want more glitter and it's not giving me the pop that I want right now on my inner corner it's pretty but I'm also wearing very natural makeup so I feel like it complements it a lot if I want like glitter then I want something a little bit more than this that's come out a little bit better. Okay, so it has no issue picking up on the brush or anything like that. I do love the shimmer of this. I feel like it's something makeup artists would use on models, if you know what I mean, to create like a glitter veil instead of it being like pow glitter. Actually, do you know what might be interesting in using it with? A sponge. I never thought about using it with a sponge. I might try that later. So now onto the Kiko side. I'm gonna do the same with this. I'm just gonna tap it off any excess. That's what that looks like. I have a feeling this is gonna look a lot more intense so bear with me. So I'm just gonna do exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> and this doesn't have so much of a balmy texture to it. This is obviously more of a powder. But the colour is very similar. And I've got a tiny, tiny speck of glitter on my cheek, whereas for Fenty I don't have any, obviously. This is sticking down well though to my lid. Can you see what I mean by the shine is very similar? The only thing that I feel Fenty has, there's almost a balm to it, so it almost gives a sheen as well as the glitter, whereas this is just a powder product. I almost want to go for the Fenty with the Kiko one, I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm gonna go in with a similar brush. This one's just slightly smaller than this one. This powder does have some tack to it or something in it because it is picking up on the brush even. And usually a powder may, you know, fluff up while you put your brush in. This one isn't, it's just going straight on the brush. Okay, and let's go in the inner corner here. Whoa! Obviously this one is going so much further than the Fenty one. I feel like the Fenty one's kind of dulled down a bit. I don't know if that's me and comparing it to the Kiko one. I'm just gonna go over it again. want you to pop. Okay, so that is the Kiko side done. If you were looking at me straight on, would you be able to tell that I'm wearing two different products in all honesty? The only thing that looks different is the Kiko one is slightly, slightly more metallic. The actual tone and everything is exactly the friggin same. I mean, I don't think I would be able to tell the difference. <laughs> okay, so I really want to try the Fenty with a sponge. I've got my dirty ass sponge that I used to do my face just now. It has different segments on it, so I think it would be a good idea to use this to use as my highlight to see if it applies well with a sponge. So facing the sponge in front of me, I'm going to use this side for Fenty and this side for Kiko. So we not mix in no products, but I'm just going to... That picked up a lot of sparkle. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go right over my highlight. So this is what my highlight currently looks like, so you know. And let's just... Press it on. Sparkly. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I really like that. It doesn't add like a crazy amount, but it adds the right amount. At the moment, I feel like you're just seeing highlight underneath the glitter. So I'm going to do like a close up. So hopefully you guys can see. And I may even get my flashlight out so you guys can see the sparkle. Okay, now it's time for the Kiko side. And I'm kind of nervous for this because I don't know how I'm going to get 
it on my sponge, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna go in the other side and just kind of tap it through the lid. Okay, so you can probably see now that the Kika one has a lot thicker glitter particles, so that's why it's showing up more metallic, but still, they look very similar. So just tap. That is definitely glitter on my cheek. And the fallout doesn't matter anymore now, guys. It's fine, just put it all over your cheek and it doesn't even matter. So I'm just gonna blend and buff this in and see what we can make of it. It's so pretty on the skin. I would I would wear this. And I just literally buffed and blended it with a sponge and just kind of pressed it into the skin. But again, I think the tone is very similar. It's giving off that silvery kind of vibe on my skin. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So freaking pretty. They look super duper similar. Even on camera, there's hardly any difference. <laughs> kind of shook, not gonna lie. Okay, so that's it for application. Let's zoom you guys out and discuss whether or not I think it's a dupe. Okay, so now that I am covered, in glitter. <laughs> I think we should discuss the pros and cons and whether I think the Kiko one is actually a replacement for the Fenty one. Looking at my face right now, I can't really tell the difference. I can't tell that I've used two different kind of products. The only way you would really notice is if you're right up to my face and you're looking at the glitter speckles, okay? That's the only way you would be able to tell, especially on my eyes, the inner corner. They look exactly the same. I really loaded this cheek and there's quite a lot of glitter on it. But again, it's not obnoxious glitter. It's very fine. It's very much like a dazzle dust. It's really pretty on the skin. Texture wise, obviously they're a little bit different. The Kiko one is a powder, but when you put your skin to it, it does kind of almost feel creamy to the touch. And obviously the Fenty one has its unique balm texture. But do I think it's a good alternative if you're on a budget? 100% yes. If you want the glitter the Fenty gives, but you want it cheap, then go with the Kiko one. Like this is so similar, it's unbelievable. And who's gonna know? I don't condemn trying to fool people, but you know, it looks good. <laughs> the only kind of con that I really have with the Kiko one, it is quite a messy container. As soon as you open the lid, it's kind of spilling out over the top because it is so full. I think for the price though and the finish, it's worth the little bit of mess that you get. <laughs> and also the other thing that's a little bit annoying is I did get a little bit of fallout when I was putting it on my eye. Literally, I had one speck though. If you don't load your finger or load your brush with product, it's not going to fall everywhere. I would just suggest using a light layer. Put your finger in and kind of tap it off so you get all the excess off and then go in and you should be good. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and this brought a little bit of sparkle into your life. Again, so cringy. I can't cope with myself and I have to live with myself. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Let me know if you agree down below in the comments whether this looks similar to each other and whether you would consider picking up the Kiko one instead of the Fenty or as well as the Fenty if you already own it. I'm really intrigued to see whether you guys guessed which side was which as well. If you're new and you're just stumbling across my videos then thank you so much for watching. If you like all things sparkly then why not subscribe to my channel. There is a plethora of glittery things out there that I want to try so make sure you're notified of when I upload by subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell. Don't forget if you like all things Things glittery to leave a little thumbs up on this video because then I know what you guys want and I will continue to bring it to you. <laughs> anyway guys, I've been rambling on for way too long. I'm gonna go about the rest of my day and I hope you come back for the next one. Till then, I'll see you. Bye guys! <coughs> right down. But today I'm gonna be... You've seen the title. Today I'm gonna be comparing the... Rude. Now with this, it's a lot the, the Kiko one. So if you don't want glitter, one, why are you watching this video? And two, stay away from this. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, um, oh my god, get out of my face. Uh, you are not welcome. I guess a good thing about this product, it, uh, <laughs> With the big red button.